Well, welcome back. Let's talk about two little items. I got a good comment on one of my videos about how to fix this um, cruise control. He, he said I should use this spray and you spray it around the switch and then you work the switch and then it should fix it. It took me like 10 minutes but I finally got the switch to work. So there you go. Now I'm going to leave that button on the on position. And then when it gets say in the 60s or so, then I I might try to mess with it and make sure it works so I don't have to leave it on. But um I got the problem here with this hazmat switch or the four-way hazards. I spent 20 minutes on that, and it, it stuck twice, and that's it. So, I'll have to have the mechanics check that out. But I can't figure it out for the life of me. And I ordered a, I found a brand new owner's manual. So I'm going to order that on Friday, because there's, like, see if I can show you. Yeah, you see these? These supposedly come down and you clip your helmet in there. That's what I think you're supposed to do. It looks like it's hinged. But I cannot figure out how to unlock them. I've tried the key. That didn't work. And I haven't seen any switches in here. So hopefully the owner's manual will tell me how to do that. And then hopefully it will tell me how to take these side covers off. Because, you know, it'd be nice to be able to see a video and see how I take them off. But there's there's absolutely no videos on how to take these side covers off. So, that's that's the reason I have this channel. Once I figure that out, I'll put a short video out on how to take those off. I just wish somebody who who's very good at making YouTube channels would do that. That would help out people like me who don't know how to do it. I don't want to just start grabbing and pulling stuff. I don't know if you got to take the seat off. What's the procedure to take the seat off and all that stuff. So one of my first or second trips, I am going to go down to uh, Suitors and have them, you know, figure out how to do that hazard switch, if they can fix it. But I noticed that... One of these lights are out. But if I turn on the... Let's see. Oop, that didn't work. Let me see. There. The turn signal works, which is good. But just the light doesn't work. So... I, you know, I'll just have them look at it and then tell me what it's going to cost to fix it. But that's that's about it. I just wanted to. It's good advice. I'm glad that cruise control is working. It took me like ten minutes. I think I said that working that switch back and forth. But I spent probably twenty minutes doing that one on that. I cannot bring it back to life. So when it gets warmer out, I can take the bike and let it sit outside, and hopefully the heat will get it to work again. I even tried a little WD-40, and you know, I guess you're not supposed to do that, but I did it, and that didn't make any difference. I mean, it did make the switch smoother, but it's still not sticking. So there's a couple of little things there. I'm gonna, you know, I'm going to try to start this thing, too. Probably shouldn't. Let's give it a try, though. Ooh, that's not good. <laughs> that battery needs to be charged up. I, I, I'm wondering if they even put a new battery in there, if that's still the original one. See, so that'd be kind of... I do have a, a plug in here, right in here, hook up a trickle charger. So I guess that I'll, I'll be doing that next.
But I had this, I have a feeling that may be the original battery. So that's another thing I'm going to have to have uh, suitors do. Okay. Talk to you later, guys.